We live in an Instagram age. We as a culture of people have become very adept at putting filters on our lives. We have become satisfied to live the lives that others assume we have. That is why I love this house. This house is completely unfiltered. The wood was not found in the most prestigious mills. The lumber could never be described as the best that money could buy. The bricks, the shape, the color, the size, they were not hemmed and hawed over so that they could achieve the most perfect manicured look. No, nope. most of the things that you see here were all slated for destruction. They were seen as imperfect, no longer usable, not purposeful, until one young woman on a mission, Mrs. Ruth Graham, sought out to find value in what others deemed worthless. Beams of wood, they were taken from homes and barns that were being torn down. Bricks, bricks were redeemed from the old Biltmore schoolhouse because, well, they had a more modern, sleek look on the horizon. All of these things were saved from imminent ruin. They were resized, restained, reshaped. Beams here, they didn't stop being beams because they were put in this home. And bricks did not all of a sudden turn into wood paneling. But the purpose for which each item was intended from the beginning in this home became richer, more profound, useful, purposeful. I love that when, when the wood came and there were big gashes in it, those gashes were not sanded out. And the bricks, huge scars in them, those scars were not filled in, but they were highlighted. All of these pieces, they have so much character and their story lies within the dents and the divots that they contain. The wood is not lesser for it and the bricks are not weaker because of it, but their purpose is more profound, bold. What if we, as the people of God, what if we realized that we were not delivered just for deliverance sake, but we were freed for purpose, for impact? So many of us, are just surviving. Sure, we have been delivered from destruction, but we're not thriving. We're not living bold by any means. We have been freed to live, to live obedient, restored, driven, confident, courageous, and focused lives, to live as we learn about Jesus who gave up his life so that we could have life and have it more abundantly. As we step out and we stay out of our comfort zone, as we lay it all on the line, as we embrace that purpose which God gave us, which is far beyond ourselves. What if we as the church lived and actually believed the verse that says, he which has begun a good work in you will complete it. But you see, he'll complete it in his time, in his way, for his purpose not our own. It's time that we just, we lay down our fear and we pick up our faith as we press in to complete and total dependence on a God who loves us more than anything. Come to the Cove in Asheville, North Carolina this winter for seven Tuesdays. Or look, if Asheville's too far, it's too cold, too dark, totally get that. Okay, so join us live on Periscope through Twitter as we open God's word and we learn about this God who's just crazy for us, who went to all extremes to deliver us so that we could live bold, impactful lives. Fingerprints created so that we could leave God's imprint in the world around us. We we have settled far too long to live quiet, obscure, ineffective lives. We are free. We are delivered to live bold, unfiltered lives. Come, be part of the story. Prepare for impact this winter as we decide to live bold. <laughs>